Good afternoon and thanks for joining this presentation about patients. Good afternoon and thank I'm Gonzalo Peral, Business Development Manager of Spain. I've been 18 years delivering tailor-made solution for the biofarm industry. In this presentation, we will talk about general concept of DTP model and the challenges that we face in a pandemic how to implement this distribution model following the legal regulation and maintaining data privacy. How will Courier implement a response plan to COVID-19 to assist the clinical trial sector? And we have learned in this one and a half years of pandemic. In the traditional clinical trial model, the center of most of the medical procedures take place into the hospital. This means that patients that live in remote areas can access to the clinical trials, and this makes the recruitment phase a challenge. The TP distribution model gives more opportunities to the patients that live in remote areas, that have mobility problems, and at the same time, speed up the recruitment process, which every day it becomes more and more complex and improves the patient's, the patient's retention by 80%, maintaining the call chain with full control of the investigational medical product. Let's see some DTP distribution models. There are several distribution models. In the first model, in the first model, the drug is stored in the hospital where the patient has been recruited. This is the most common case. In the second model, the investigational medical product is stored in a depot. This model is not allowed in Europe. It's used in some protocols in USA and LATAM. Third model, where all the drug is stored in only one hospital per country, and it's distributed to the home patient, although there are more sites in the same country. The fourth model is like the first one, but with a depot that can provide additional services like secondary packaging, relabeling, drug extraction, etc. Let's see some figures. Since 2012, World Courier has managed 1,589 home clinical trials. In 2019, World Courier handled 21,500 DTP shipments with an average of 1,800 shipments per month. In 2020, we handled 52,000 shipments with an average of 4,300 shipments per month. This year, until July, we already handled 29,000 shipments. The extreme increase of the demand comes from the necessity of our customers to maintain open the clinical trials. Let's share with you this graphic that clearly shows the first wave of the pandemic with the important peak in April of 2020. Let's talk about legal regulation and data privacy. In a high regulated sector, it's mandatory to fulfill legal regulation of each country, comply with good distribution practice and with good clinical practice if there is some clinical trial services included in the protocol, comply with transport regulation, ASIATA, with safety rules to avoid the spread of COVID-19, 
with customs regulation, maintaining confidentiality of the patient's data. Data privacy is one of the pain points in the clinical trials. And this is how World Courier managed the data to warrant confidentiality. In the first stage, World Courier gathered all technical details of the protocol, like temperature of the drug, how to process temperature readings, if there are ancillaries or drug returns, etc. When we have all details, we process the SYNFO to upload project instructions into our transport management system with detailed instructions. In the preparation phase of the shipment, we have all order details, including patient data, into our system for work career internal operation. It's important to point that all that info is stored in a secure data warehouse that fully complies with local laws and GDPR regulations. In the transport phase, we delete the name of the patient and use an ID rather than name to ensure confidentiality. It's important to point that all our staff is trained to manage these shipments and all processes are controlled in each country by a DPP coordinator. Let's share briefly a graphic with the total value of GDPR fines since the launch of the law in 2018. It's important to point that the pandemic is not yet finished. Out of the first war, there are important waves that generate new restrictions in the developing countries that can affect clinical trials. To prepare and adapt our response plan, World Career is following closely the evolution of the pandemic with the following tools. WallOps, which is a department that coordinate our global network gathering information from our offices around the world and share this info with all our network in real time. The lead team is a special team appointed to follow up the evolution of the pandemic. This group leads the implementation of new procedures to adapt our resources to the rapid evolution of the pandemic. They implement as well contingency plan if necessary. We are updating weekly the airline connections into our system, Jetstream. This tool helps us to select the best possible routing. In this scenario, it's important to understand that airline companies are one of the sectors that has been more affected by this pandemic with important economic losses, and they still suffering losses and constant changes due to the evolution of the pandemic. This lack of airline space has been one of the main challenges that we face in this crisis. Also, we have external sources like World Health Organization, CDC, and local authorities. When World Korea prepare our TTP response plan for the pandemic, we consider three principles, safety, or of staff is essential. Continuity or corporate is responsibility is maintaining the service even in the worst moments of the pandemic. Our aim is to deliver patients' medications and responsibility, not to spread the virus. We have to face four aspects to solve. 
restrictions of flights and custom restrictions. The main one, obviously, is lack of connections, the spread of COVID-19 and how to manage this high increase of the demand of DTP services, the restricted movements inside of each country, and the dynamic and rapid evolving situation. To make this response effective, we made five main considerations. It should be scalable. There are many studies that have activity in more than one country, and the solution should work as well for big trials with many countries involved. We must, we must put in place solution to shift distribution model to direct to patient very quickly. We should assist our customer in this process. For many of our customer has been the first time they use these DTP services. To speed up the process, we need to simplify the process to shift the distribution model. At the end of the implementation, the service should be standardized. We put in place contact-free procedures to avoid spreading the virus or drivers and receive agree on location for shipment exchange by a phone maintaining social distance of two meters. While courier packaging and temperature monitors on arrival, driver stop the monitors and remove the product from box. Monitor packaging retrieved by driver prior to drop off. Patient should have no contact at all. Driver places shipment in request position within sign. Retreats to save distance and notifies recipient. Drivers proof of delivery from social distance, but they need to witness the recovery. Driver will sign the hub on delivery as follow. Name field with the patient ID, subject ID, or confidential. In the signature field, patient ID, subject ID, or confidential as well. Mobile apps used to capture information where possible. Drivers to where should wear gloves and masks at the point of delivery to ensure no physical contact with the receipt. What we have learned in this pandemic since April 20, we have learned several lessons about DTP distribution in challenging situations. DTP is scalable. In many trials, the study recruits patients in more than one country. A world career can implement the solution in different countries, fulfilling local regulations. Regulators are increasingly comfortable with direct-to-patient solutions. In most of the countries, the authorities have prioritized the continuity of the ongoing trials. The patients prefer distribution model because it's more comfortable for them and they felt safer. The outcome of our customer is really positive. In many cases, they could lose the world trial or have to stop the project with costly delays. Without the technology, the shift of the distribution model, it would have been impossible. Now I'm going to present a, this case study, which is not 100% DTP model distribution. I chose this example for three reasons. The first reason, because the drug was used to treat COVID-19. The second reason, because the rapid change of model that includes home patient delivery 
and deliveries at hospital, which was a real challenge. And the third, because include many countries of Europe with two origins, which add complexity to the program. In January 2020, we received the request to shift the distribution model of Remdesivir, a life-saving drug that was in a phase three study. The drug was located in two warehouses, in UK and Switzerland. The idea was to use the treatment in severe diseases patients positive to COVID-19 flu. Some of the deliveries we at patients' home, but before the drug was delivery at home patient should pass through the hospital. So we got ready the process to proceed orders 24-7 to the and to deliver this drug within 24 hours, providing preconditioning refrigerated packaging. Thanks to our 24 service. 24-7 availability, we organize direct drives to main destination, sometimes hand carries to remote locations, or offices at destination were instructed to get final delivery approval from health authorities to deliver the to site, pharmacy, or even restricted area, for example, Italy during lockdown. The result was that 100% of the shipments were correctly delivered. No temperature excursions was reported in more than 100 shipments across Europe. And we maintain patients' data always confidential. This is a clear example of the challenges that World Courier has faced to change distribution model into the pandemic. But what does the future hold? In our research, 63% of our responders said they were concerned about patients being reluctant to enter hospitals or clinical environments after COVID-19 restriction eased. And 37 said they are more likely to design direct to patient logistics into trials or treatments ongoing towards. It seems more patient-centric approach to clinical trials could actually lead to more direct to patient deliveries. Thank you for having me with you today and I hope you will visit us over at our booth to discuss this further or download any of our relevant white papers for more information. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias por atender eh, esta presentación y Si os parece, eh, contestaré a las preguntas en castellano, eh, aquellas que sean en castellano y en inglés a las que me lancéis en inglés. ¿Alguna cuestión? Ajá. Eh, nos preguntan aquí que si en nuestra experiencia cuál es la respuesta de la Agencia Española del Medicamento. Eh, a principios de la pandemia la Agencia Española del Medicamento eh, lanza un comunicado en el que se prioriza eh, que los pacientes se les siga atendiendo y se les sigan mandando eh, las medicaciones. Evidentemente luego esto habría que, que, que precisarlo siempre manteniendo 
eh, GDPs en, en los envíos eh, relativos a medicación. Luego nos preguntan eh, qué documentos hay que preparar y firmar para cambiar un modelo de distribución de estudio clínico tradicional a un estudio en casa del paciente. En primer punto, eh, habría que firmar un non-disclosure agreement. Después habría que preparar un quality technical agreement. Nosotros tenemos un cuestionario eh, donde se recogen todos estos datos eh, que es, eh, digamos, es nuestro PNT E003. Y aparte de esto, eh, necesitaríamos un cuestionario eh, completo si quisiéramos eh, grabar eh, todos los datos eh, para más de un paciente. Entonces, eh, necesitaríamos también eh, un cuestionario específico para generar las, save, las eh, site instructions de cada uno de los centros. A ver, alguna otra pregunta. Eh, eh, vamos a ver. Eh, ¿Cómo se mantienen eh, los GDPs eh, en casa del paciente? Evidentemente, dentro de una fase clínica, mantener las buenas prácticas de distribución de la medicación hasta el punto de administración es crítico. Nosotros tenemos la posibilidad de registrar eh, eh, documentalmente el traslado desde la farmacia del hospital en donde se encuentra la medicación hasta casa del paciente, incluida el registro de temperatura, recuperando el termómetro y el material una vez procedida a la entrega. ¿Alguna consulta más? A ver si hay algo en el chat. ¿Alguna otra cuestión que os pueda os pueda, os pueda resultar de interés? ¿Cómo mantiene World Courier la confidencialidad de los datos del paciente? Como comentaba en mi presentación, World Courier necesita tener los, los datos del paciente y a la vez eh, mantener eh, la confidencialidad del paciente, sobre todo con, siguiendo las, la legislación GDPR, es muy, muy, muy importante para nosotros y es una de las principales preocupaciones de la industria farmacéutica. Eh, en primer lugar, eh, nosotros necesitamos esos datos que se graban en nuestra plataforma con fines operativos, pero ¿dónde se está guardando esta, esta información? Son unos servidores que están eh, cumpliendo con normativa GDPR, es decir, en ningún momento se, se rompe la confidencialidad. Eh, una vez que se pasa a la fase de, de la expedición, del transporte real, se retiran los nombres de las cajas de los albaranes y de todos los eh, sitios donde pudiera aparecer, apareciendo únicamente la codificación de ese paciente. Y por último, todo este proceso está chequeado por un coordinador eh, específico en cada una de las oficinas. Eh, se me olvidaba mencionar un tema importante. Todos los expedientes eh, eh, que son de TP, es decir, que la medicación se va a entregar en casa del paciente, de, del paciente, aparecen codificados con otros colores para que nuestros compañeros sepan en todo momento cómo hay que proceder para mantener la confidencialidad de esos datos. A ver si hay alguna otra pregunta. Vamos a esperar un poco a ver si hay algún rezagado que quiera hacer alguna pregunta adicional.
pues parece que no hay ninguna otra pregunta adicional sobre este tema. Muchas gracias por asistir a la presentación. Estamos a vuestra entera disposición para atender todas las consultas eh, que os puedan ir surgiendo en nuestro, en nuestro stand virtual y, eh, como siempre, eh, deseando colaborar eh, para, eh, digamos, eh, avanzar eh, dentro de la, de la investigación clínica. Muchas gracias por vuestro tiempo. Buenos días.